Hey guys, welcome back. We are talking about thatched cottages today, and I have some tea with me, so hopefully my voice will last a little longer. Um, thatched cottage roofing, you'll probably see most of this in the cottage living world, and here are some images I found on Pinterest for more inspiration. By the way, if you're interested in using any of these images to build from, they're all in my Pinterest board, which I will link in the description of this video. I do have three houses to roof today because there are three kind of main styles I want to make sure you guys know how to do, but don't worry, I'll get through them as quickly and concisely as possible. Let's start with the little guy. Essentially, when you're going to be building a thatched roof, just like any roof, you want to cover the majority of your roof with a gable and make sure that the open sides are facing the shorter side of the build. You can then make it be a thatched roof by adding any of the thatched textures found in either island living or cottage living and then add the matching trim. From here, if you're on a one-story build and want to add some more style, you can use some of these roof decorations, which fit best at the default pitch. We also have some little squares. And of course, there are the roof cap decorations. Now you do want to make sure you place these decorations exactly where you want them the first time, because for whatever reason, when you go to move them again, they float. I don't know if that's just a my game thing or what, but those are the basics on how to create that thatched cottage look. Now let's talk about taking the same roofing style but applying it to a multi-story build with dormers. I'm going to start in the back with a half gable and just pull this over. Now because this is the short wall height and this is three tiles wide, we already have the roof at the correct angle. However, if you wanted your roof to be higher pitched, you would pull this wall out and pitch up. Or you could push this wall in and pitch down for a lower pitched roof. We will copy, rotate, and place this roof on the front side of the build as well. And I want to add a little roof here. I think I will use a half gable turned this way and bring out the eaves a bit. Up top, we'll use another gable here and here. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to create and roof dormers, you can check out this video here. I'll put the card up in the corner. This is a lovely cottage, but let's add our roof texture now. When you're placing these main pieces, hold shift to be able to place multiple without having to reselect and you can use the less than or greater than or comma and period keys to rotate. You can adjust the pitch of your roof slightly with these, but for the most part, see we can bring it down a little bit or up a little bit, but for the most part in order for them to stay flush, you just want to leave it at the default pitch. All right, I made a little style decision to push these dormers back a bit, but that's kind of how you'd go about roofing a two-story cottage, especially one with dormers or an extended second story like you see here. Now what if you wanted to do a curved roof? Of course you could do that on just a single story roof by pressing shift C using some of these curving controls. You see we can curve it a bit and still use these um, roof decorations but to get a more aggressive curve and to show you how to do this with two stories let's move over here. I'm going to start with a half gable and remove all of the eaves. Then hold Alt and adjust the pitch so that the top of this wall aligns with the top of this wall. I can then drag this through, which unfortunately changes the wall height. So to copy it, I'm going to hold Alt while I copy, and that should maintain the same angle. And on top, I'm going to use a hip roof. Press Shift C to get more curving controls. Let's lower the pitch a bit to try to line it up. And then we're going to curve. In hindsight, it would make more sense to just get one curved correctly and then copy it over, so we'll do that. Again, Shift-C gives you more controls, and from there you just play with it, carefully adjusting the curve, the pitch, until you get it where you want it. And then holding Alt, copy, rotate, and place your other roof piece. I'm copying this roof piece to put on the dormers. The reason I pulled the eaves in for these was so that we could have this hipped roof piece on top and have it mimic in a way these roof caps over here. If we had the eaves pulled out, I'll just show you, it just doesn't quite line up, even if we have these eaves pulled back. So that's why I left the eaves pulled in, plus this roof trim actually gives the impression of a very slight eave, which is pretty nice. So there are three ways to approach roofing a thatched cottage in The Sims 4. Which way is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below along with any other roof types that you would like to see broken down like this. If you want to see more building tutorials, check out the playlist on the left. And if you want to see more roofing tutorials, check out the playlist on the right. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye!